if you remember our previous video, we considered an integral that was solved using first integration by parts, then a u substitution. The reason why this integral is nice is it's the mirror image of the previous problem. To integrate x to the 5 e to the x cubed dx, we must first make a u substitution and then apply integration by parts. Now, because I always want to use u and v when applying integration by parts, when I make my quote-unquote u substitution here, I will use a different variable than u. Well, let's use w. I will let w be x cubed. To get our dx, we must differentiate. So the derivative of w with respect to x is quite simply by the power rule 3x squared. So let's see now. If I rewrite x to the 5, the differential giving us an x squared. So I'll give an x I'll leave an x cubed up front, e to the x cubed. But now to complete my x to the 5, I'm missing an x squared. So it's x squared dx. And you see I'd like to get an x squared dx, which I can have here. Multiply across by dx, you get a dw is equal to 3x squared dx. As I only have an x squared dx, I will divide by 3 both sides to get my x squared dx. And so you see that 1 third dw is x squared dx. And now we can pull off our substitution. So we integrate x cubed is w e to the x cubed e to the w and finally x squared dx is a third dw. As always when you have a constant multiple factor it outside and now we're left with 1 over 3 the integral of w e to the w dw. So this is definitely simply looking than this one. So it looks like we've made progress with our u substitution. But the integral we have is still non-trivial. It's still not clear what is the integral of w e to the w. But if you differentiate w with respect to w, it's just 1, then it'd be gone. And then you'd have a simple integral. So this is hinting at integration by parts. So I'll let u be w, and dv, of course, everything else. And you see why I did not use u when I made my quote-unquote u substitution. If you ever have a gut feeling that after you make a substitution, you'll have to use by parts, as in this case, do not use u in your u substitution, because you want to keep u for your by parts. And now we're good to go. So we need our du, differentiate w with respect to u. Oh, sorry. u is w. So if you differentiate u with respect to w, of course you get 1. Multiply by dw, and du is dw. So we have our du. Now we're missing, of course, our v, as always. V is the integral of dv, which here is the integral of e w dw. And this is a trivial integral, right? The integral of e to the w w is just e to the w. Differentiate this with respect to w, and of course you get the same function. So du is just dw, and v is e to the w. And now what we have, we have what we need, sorry, for our integration by parts. We have our u, we have our du, we have our v, we have our dv. So we're good to go. Open up your brackets though, because the one third multiplies the whole thing. So by integration by parts now, the integral of u, dv, is uv. So w times e to the w.
minus the integral of v du, which is dw. As you can see now, we have a trivial integral, as this integrates to e to the w, so we are essentially done. So I'll distribute my one-third also, so I'll have one-third w e to the w minus one-third this integrates to itself, e to the w, plus, of course, the arbitrary constant of integration. Well, we can factor common terms, and e to the w over 3 can be factored from both terms. And if we do so, what are we left with? Well, if you factor e to the w over 3, the first term you're left with is w, minus and if you factor e to the w over 3, you're left with a negative 1, plus, of course, c. But we're not done, right? Since the integral was given as a function of x, we have to give our final answer back into a function of x. Well, so we go back, what was w as a function of x? This was our substitution that was the so-called u substitution, even though we use w in place of u. But w is simply x cubed. So we have e to the x cubed over 3. Times, again, x cubed minus 1 plus c. So there you have it. If you integrate x to the 5, e to the x cubed dx, you get e to the x cubed over 3 times x cubed minus 1 plus c. As always, you can verify this easily by differentiating this function and in the end seeing that you obtain x to the 5 e to the x cubed. What was nice about this problem is we had to first make a substitution and then we were able to use integration by parts to arrive at a final answer. And that's it.